if you, uh, depends on who you speak to. Every carrier will tell you they're first in 5G, they've got the best position. Um, Verizon's the first to roll out a product on 5G. They made an announcement a couple of weeks ago. They've got a handset in the market. It works in uh, a tiny part of Chicago, as far as I can make out. Um, they've got a lot of spectrum that they're going to roll out over the course of the next couple of years. Um, Sprint is sitting on a phenomenal band of spectrum that's actually much better than the spectrum that Verizon's deploying. And that's one thing people should know is that 5G is a catch-all term right now for very, very different types of things. That's exactly right. So what Verizon has or what AT&T has is seen as inferior to what Sprint has? So 5G, um, the technology, uh, the, the standard is the same uh, for all of these companies. But which spectrum band they deploy it in makes a huge difference. The spectrum that AT&T and Verizon have is very high-frequency spectrum, which is great in, a, in the middle of Manhattan, in the middle of Chicago, in the middle of... Uh, San Francisco, it's not going to work outside of very, very dense markets. It's way too expensive to deploy. What Sprint has is mid-band spectrum, um, which can work almost everywhere. It might not be great in the most rural parts of Montana, but pretty much everywhere else, it's going to work great. The issue is they've got no money to deploy it. Um, if the deal with T-Mobile goes through, that's going to put them in a that, those companies in a phenomenal position. If the deal doesn't go through, that spectrum just sits on the sidelines for the next five years. Is it fair to say you think from this point of view it would be silly for the government to block the Sprint T-Mobile deal? Because if they're to get any scale to compete with AT&T and Verizon, they have the spectrum, they just have to be able to deploy it, and they could only do that combined? That's exactly right. If it's really important to the administration to be first in 5G and have a more robust set of infrastructure in the U.S. than China, Japan, and Korea do, um, then they should let the deal go through. That's, that's the path to the best 5G network we're likely to see in the U.S., and it'll drive AT&T and Verizon to invest.